plus a teen hit by lightning. He went through the tree. And lives to tell the tale. Hear from him from the hospital as he walks us through exactly what happened. That teen was just out doing some yard work last night as a storm rolled through Seminole County. This is the ring doorbell footage showing the moments after the strike. You can see him here laying on the ground with neighbors rushing over to help him. And lightning can strike miles away from a storm, so even if the rain hasn't reached you yet, it doesn't mean you're in the clear. Thanks for joining us. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm John Brown. Now, thankfully, that teen survived the injury, and Fox 35's Caroline Cole spoke with a teen who is hit by lightning just about 24 hours ago. This is the location where it happened the other day, and thanks to that tree right there, that team did not take a direct hit, which ultimately saved his life. 17-year-old Daniel Sharkey is still in pain. My chest hurts and everything's sore. But the teenager says he feels lucky to be alive. I couldn't scream. I was just... I, I, at least I don't think I was making any noise. Daniel says he was close to a tree in the yard that was suddenly struck by lightning just before 5 p.m. on Monday. We went through the tree. And sitting in his hospital bed at Orlando Regional Medical Center, Daniel says it was that very same tree that saved his life. And if it was a direct hit, I probably wouldn't be here today. Um, I'm just lucky that tree was there. Daniel has his own lawn mowing company and was weed whacking in neighbor's yard. He says he saw the storm approaching, but thought he had plenty of time before he had to go inside. I saw the storm was approaching, but it was maybe like, I could see some thunder and lightning. It was maybe like, you know, like 10 to 20 seconds between like the, the thunder and the lightning. So, you know, that should be like 10 to 20 miles away. And so I was pretty confident I could finish up real quick because we have a, uh, an, in our area uh, at the, the park, they have a, um, a siren that goes off when there's lightning, which we can hear. And that says it's been in five miles and it had not gone off yet. And before he knew it, Daniel says he was down. And I couldn't move any of my extremities. And just everything I kind of felt like, you know, like you had just had, like uh, just rubbed against a balloon, like you still had static on you. And everything was tingling, like like you like your hands and arms are asleep. It can be fatal. It can cause uh, what's a cardiac arrhythmia, uh, where someone would need to be defibrillated. It can cause muscle damage. It can cause nerve damage. It can cause burns. Uh, it can cause problems with your eyesight down the road. With his parents by his side, Daniel is recovering and says he's not letting what happened here stop him from getting back to work. It's just a complete, complete fluke. It's about a one in a million shot to, to get hit by lightning. And, you know, it's not a 100% survival, but luckily that tree was there. And I'm just lucky to be alive. Now, Daniel, thankfully, is expected to be released from the hospital either today or tomorrow. But this is just another example of why we always say when it roars, you go indoors. Reporting here in Altamont Springs, I'm Caroline Coles, Fox 35 News. Wow, he is a true miracle.